Han lagt mig. Iskon. Her kan vi. Her. Han lagt. Lad da. Hi everyone, it's Master Wong here. Today is a beautiful, beautiful day. Some of you asked me about how to using your hand attacking and defending at the same time. So this is my top five attacking and defending. The important thing you have to understand any form of self-defense, you have to adapt your technique to it. I'm using a lot of elbow because in our KT3 training, it's using a lot of elbow to defending, but also using to attacking. Okay, this is important to understand. When you start to get news of your hand, your body, then become a lot more easier for you to attack and defending at the same time. As this hand coming in, you're using this to defend already. So you look and then you attack as that coming in as you go together with the movement here. This is important. Check this movement out. like this and then make sure the here then the elbow come in the here reality um, is because you have the head already you go directly at his face okay but because in training when you're working you got to make sure you got straight to the chest here to get used to the chest like this and then control and then chest like this so the shoulder here a chest like this why you go like this and he punch me you're stopping this is why you control like this so that's why it's good to have to have the hand to understand like this so you know where you are on the shoulder there so when you're working with this movement here blind attack attack elbow control so when he punch it's the same your elbow okay but because he not respond to you so you have your hand here instead okay in case he's gonna attack and then Drop your body slightly this way. Don't go like this because that will be open for that attack. Like this way, attack is going to be less. And then from here, your hand is ready to follow up if it need to. And then you continue your movement, your movement onto the neck here, onto the movement. So this is why the hand position, it have to be placed in the right place and your body have to in the right place for positioning, okay? Because you want to get in there at once and respond. So when the attack coming in, you go <laughs> boom, boom, yeah, <laughs> yeah, control, <laughs> like this, coming in, okay? Online, like that. on the side, movement. So when you're working on that, same thing, <laughs> boom, boom, grab, <laughs> yeah, boom, can work the same way when it start to work. Okay, line, <laughs> boom, boom, yeah, <laughs> like that, okay? So line, <laughs> boom, boom, grab in the line, <laughs> grab, <laughs> like that, on the movement there. So the line of it, boom, boom, boom. this is where you want to be. Line, boom, like this, the whole body, and lock it. The whole body go toward it, okay? So this, like that, okay, that's the line. So movement, grab, control, control, like that, okay? Now you can see of the movement that I showed you there. If you got any question like this, comment below here. As you understand, each of the movement and technique you're using is like this. You have to attack in certain part, okay? Like shoulder plaque, body. We're using a basic attacking the vulnerable spot in the body. This is important to understand. When you block and defend, you are attacking right in the shoulder plaque or onto the neck and you continue your combination of attack. Everything you do, you have to apply the technique to it. As you are training, you practice the movement as you are going in to use it, okay? So a lot of time, it's all about practice. Practice make perfect, okay? This is where you need to go over and over to practice the hand to attack. As the movement comes, you're attacking and you're defending the same time as you go in to doing the damage. Check it out. No problem, man. <laughs> this is how we deal with a bigger guy. This doesn't matter how big you are. You don't change in the way you do things, okay? So the whole idea is you're using the strongest part of your body, elbow, okay? Knee, this kind of movement. So if you come across with somebody like this, you got a big like this, got a problem with you. You got to make sure you set up your body positioning. So from there, you drive the elbow coming in, okay? You drive it in like this, go straight to the solar plug area. That's one way to deal with him right away onto the movement. Second, if you're a big guy, if he start to hook you, if he start to hook coming in, okay? You've got to make sure 
hook this side so the elbow would smack straight into the bicep so we're gonna burst the damn arm yeah so boom like this straight there to burst it okay so we've got to make sure no more m arm left don't matter how big the damn arm is they're doing the weight one elbow land into here he won't be able to pick the hand up to do anything anymore this is important and second thing you got to understand as well it's a keep the distance, okay? He might be big, but he's not. It's the same. He thought it's the same, okay? So the movement of him, you got to understand it. Come back in. Don't matter how big he is, the nut, okay? It's a wicked spot, okay? Here. He's straight there to get rid of him right away. Very basic and simple movement. So the most important thing is you need to make sure to get in right position to set it up. What happening? So if you got argument with somebody, hand up like this, any problem with those, you turn your body right now, straight away. Sort the plaque and get rid of them, okay? You don't give them the, 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 the chance to be able to do things with you, okay? If they're coming to you. So the second thing you've got to learn as well, make sure to keep your hands up like this. Move out of the way, boom to the nut here, straight away, okay? So straight away, boom to the nut like that, and then straight away to the sober plaque. Again, you knock him out straight away, because no matter how big he is, he nut is not made from iron, okay? So he will be get straight to the nut and he drop, and you can deal with him. He have the big arm, he might come to attack, so the idea is when you come to hook coming in here, straight away, the hand, the elbow directly attack into here, okay? Not from here because it will be a lot of power coming from here yeah. that will be knock you over, okay? So that, that's why you got to come straight into here, onto there, and then... Now as you can go full now, onto the third part, third number three movement here to defending, attacking. As you know, all this movement here to finish it quickly, you have to go in and deal with it faster. Like I mentioned over and over again in the comment, a lot of movement is up to you when to use it and how you apply. Every situation is different. Not every situation created equal. You need to understand that. This is why it has to be adapted to each of the situations you're in and apply the movement. All the time, keep everything in line. As the movement comes, you can grab and using the elbow and using the elbow, the same basic rule. So when you're working, you need to get your mind in the right place and awareness is the key of any form of self-defense. Okay, check this one out. To come in, the whole body coming in, to uh, I did, to be able to tell him right away, okay? So the whole body coming in. Now, sometime when you do this kind of movement, you won't be able to go in with power. That will be enough because he won't be able to hurt you. Hit harder, is he won't be able to hurt you because you cover your head. So you make sure you cover your head properly when you're coming in to defend the hand positioning from the hand. Okay, cover in. Uh, put a pair of gloves on. This is give you the idea. This doesn't matter the heart of the hook. Because you get the structure of your body in line, you can able to prepare. So when it go like this, that can be in line. So who coming in? So who harder coming in? Harder. This doesn't matter. You just square your body and solid stay. Harder coming in. Harder coming in. Harder. This doesn't matter with a movement. The most important thing is get your structure of your body properly. Problem you might come if you come and hook and you go like this. You see, you turn because while you're turning, you see that, that see that coming to your head. This is the big problem. So when the hook coming in, that don't come in your head. See the round. So hook coming in, it's not gonna get in at all. Hook coming in, it's not gonna come in. So this is why you got to make sure you get your structure properly and in line. Okay, this is important. So when you're working with this kind of movement, to understand is learn to be able to respond. Whole body coming into the chest and the full force coming into his chest there to to be able to deal with him getting wounded and problem in a minute. That's why the heavy the, the elbow coming. This is dangerous, man. And this why don't matter how big they are, they can bigger they are, they're gonna fall like sack of shit. So the idea of it, you gotta understand. You first attacking the nut, you're missing him. You got the full body coming in, and then you can deal with him. But you gotta move into the hook like this. Okay, you gotta move into it. Because that will be spear directed at his chest, okay? So the idea is when he hook, you directly spear. So did your, your elbow like this directly spear at his chest. Now you can see the movement coming in. The idea of this technique here that I apply 
onto the elbow. Every situation you can see is applied differently. Because it's different, the body and the position don't change. This is one kind of movement to fit in all different scenarios. In, in the self-defense, you've got no time to think, okay? If certain things happen, you have to keep your hand quickly up there. And while you're there, you have to use the movement on your body. As you're using them, you have to con attacking and then you're defending at the same time. You can't not think about the movement. And this is the difference between KT3 and the Wing Chun movement. Okay, you are applying the Wing Chun movement into the hand to get to know where the person is as you are flow in. But when you get inside them, you cover your head as you move and you continue your attack very, very quickly. And this is important you understand this. Otherwise, in the situation come, you have to think about technique when you're thinking. It's not going to work. You need to feel the movement. And this is why I say the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Check it out. See, the same thing. My hand cover my head like this. Okay, so my thumb is that. I hit like this. Okay, my hand coming cross like that. Okay, when it come on this side, the same. Cross like this. Okay, the hand. So when it hit there, see, the hand will cover and this elbow here later on will be straight away come to the elbow. So the length of it, I can go like this. Okay, hand like that to cover. So hit, so like this, basically. Movement like that. On single hand, hand like this. Okay, so movement, hand like this. Soon you understand that, soon you coming in. Hand like this coming in, can be like, movement like this. So you will be, hand like this. Okay, so control. The head coming in and then like that on the arm, so lean forward. So when the movement comes in like this, here, movement come like this, here. Sometimes you're unexpected, you go like that, unexpected, like that. Okay, so another one is for this kind of movement here. So when you're not sure, I like, like that, straight away, that will cover here. So when you hit, see, it's not going to come in, hit, see, not coming in. The idea of this kind of movement here, we do individual the minute to get you the idea first, because normally it just happens once, soon it happens, soon the attack coming in, you, you straight away, you attack away, come on, boom, you're, you're ready to hit, he won't got a chance to do another one, two, three, four different moves. So when you learn a single one to get the cover well, then everything will be easier. So you got few cover. Scare, you go like this, like you scare, your hand like this. So I'm scare, okay? So I walk in it like this with him, okay? So when he's scared with him, like that, on that, movement like this. Sometimes I can stand there, he hit, see? Like that, straight away, okay? If you're not, if you're okay, when you come in there, then this hand, like this movement here. Okay, the hand, same thing, cover, and the hand like this. If you can't get there fast enough, if you go like this, and make sure you lock them. So attack them, so hand come, can be like this, or hand can be like this, on the line, hand like this. Okay, attack this side again. So line on the movement, on the hand, you come in like this. Okay, on this side, the same. Hand come like this. As long as this hand, like this, it's difficult for him to come in from directly from there to here, because you cover in already. Okay, later on it becomes a lot more easier for you to go right in to them to know sure you go right into him. Okay, so the movement of it to learn is control and come in like this, or control come in like this, or control to come in like this. Okay, the hand like this, okay, to cover. So when you come into attack, like this, like this, or like this. Now, this is the final one here onto the number five my favorite five elbow and defense technique onto it all of this movement here you need to get used to your body positioning and when you get used to it you are using your body to do all the things that needed to be done if you've got any question of that comment below here and i will be here to answer all the questions you need this is num the five elbows that i use them all the time to in any situation, it doesn't matter to be able to do the damage and also defend yourself, okay? So check it out and you know you love it.
movement of the body. So your hand got to get used to hand like this, hand like this. So when the hook come in here, the hand like this, the elbow where they land. Now, if it certainly hook me high, that's already control here onto that. So that don't need to be moved. If you hook low again, so that body is in line with that already. Okay, certainly come with this hand high, then your hand like this. This hand don't move. Okay, so this hand is basically attacking the body already and certainly that hand coming in, you really cover for that hand to come to attack, that hand to come to attack to the neck. So the basic one we want to do is get used to the hook coming in. So you go one like this to get used to the hand. One, two for the drop like this first. Don't need to worry about that hand yet. Okay, because the whole idea, as soon as I come to here, I already make an attack. If I, if the hook coming in, and they hook me that side, you're already here, and then you make that line straight to attack, or make that particular movement coming this way where they attack. So the first, first thing we want to learn is control the hand like this, and leg and body coming in, okay? Second, you're coming from here, like that, and then drop one, drop two, like this with the hand. Keep the hand in line here, prepare for the hook coming in, you prepare for this hand here, a bit further away, so you repeat exactly the same. So the first movement is coming one, one, two. Okay, line, hit, one, two. So the idea is when soon that coming in, that, that got drive in right away, and then your body come into attack like that. Okay, so drive in, and then hit, hit like this. So movement like that, drive in, and then come one, two like that. Okay, so the line, body, make sure the land, and then drop, and drop. Make sure the land, and then drop, and drop. Because sometimes I stand there, he come to attack, so <laughs> that straight away. That, that will be attacked straight away and then making the quick attack on it, okay? So line here, sit here, and then come across of that straight away, okay? I hope you're liking the lesson and everything that we're providing for you there too, learning some form of self-defense. And also, I will add this on as we go in full to show you a little bit of what I'm eating as well, so that way, if you because to turn a lot into weight loss and also eating, everything you need to learn to get energy training and some of you asking me about this. So I'm going to show you roughly what is it. After good, nice training, basic, easy. So we got rice, bacon, and this is um, Vietnamese vegetable. I like this sort of thing. Um, ung choy, that's what they call ung choy, but for English, I'm not really sure what it's called actually and steak okay because in evening now so we don't want to eat too damn much after that need some protein and some calf so to get in your balance have a little bit of balance because i'm talking a lot into the about yin yang nutrition yin yang nutrition is all about balance all about learning it to eat balance so you can see this is the idea if you like this kind of um idea uh, of training, show you the movement technique and everything else like this, then let me know and comment underneath here so I can talk to you no more about cooking because I'm the chef. So I know how I can teach you how to cook on different dishes to helping you because a lot of time when you talk about nutrition, anybody can talk about nutrition. You eat this, eat that. But a lot of time you don't know how to cook. A lot of things you need to learn to understand about eating is not in a package you need to cook fresh okay so that way you can see this is the bacon and this is come out from the piece of beef instead in the package that way you know that it's good for your health master wong here have a beautiful day and if you want to ask me anything else ask me below here and i'll talk to you about it okay i'll see you on the next lesson